Mm -hmm. Welcome to this week's tutorial. I am Joe from Workbench. And today we're going to talk about expressions. It's one of my favorite topics because you can do so much with so little. So I was answering a question yesterday on Creative Cow uh, where somebody was asking about how to turn off all of the layers while one layer is on. So let's do that. First, we're going to make a new composition. That's fine. Then we're going to make a new controller. Well, null object. I'm going to call it controller. And then we're gonna have the layers that we want to turn on and off. So I'm gonna go in here real quick, make this square just so we can have something to look at. That's what I always do when I make a square and then I just go like that. I get rid of this stroke. So we don't need an extra stroke. We don't need no strokes. We don't need no stinking strokes. So there we go. That's the first one. Duplicate it. Oh, not in there. No, no, no. No, 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 not today. All right, we're gonna drag this over here. Drag that one over there and duplicate again. Right over here. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put on this controller and go to effect, effect expression controls, slider control. I would use a layer control, but for some reason the layer control is not keyframeable. If I can figure it out, I might write a plugin to, uh, to change that because that could be super useful sometimes. So what we want to do here is this slider is going to basically turn on one of these layers and turn off the other ones. It's a pretty simple setup. We're going to hit T to open up opacity. Option click on opacity to put some expression magic up in here. And we are going to do O equals. Oh, 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 I already made a mistake. Look at that. We're going to open this up. All right. We're going to put a key on here just so we can hit U. Get that up there so we can pick whip it. Option click on this again. And we're going to drag just to hit that slider. Hit up to go to the beginning of the line. I'm going to O equals that. And then I'm going to do, uh, not main, I'm going to do control equals just this layer. Okay, it's pretty simple so far. So what we're going to do here is if index minus control dot index. So what we're doing is we're subtracting the index of the control layer from the layer that we're on. So in this case, we're going to get one. So that means it's going to be the first layer under it. We're doing this so that if you put any layers above this, it'll still know how to work. So you can't, so you don't set your keyframes up and then all of a sudden your layer index is different and none of your stuff is keyframed correctly anymore. So if that index value is equal, you got to put two equal signs is equal to O, we'll call it T because opacity is T. All right, if index minus control dot index equals equals T, then 100, 100, else zero, semicolon. Copy that, right? And we are gonna open up this. You could do, actually, well, let's do this a little easier. Edit, copy expression only. Then go down here, command V, paste. All right, so nothing shows up right now because it's set to zero. If I set this to one, first one which is actually over here because of the way I moved them because duplicating is up is over there number two number three and number four so that's how that works now if I put any sort of layers over top of it we're gonna set this to multiply so you can still see it it's still set properly so as long as you maintain this group and we'll color it just so that we know hey this is a group of stuff that needs to stay together you can put stuff above it behind it of course, not set to multiply there because then you won't see it. Actually, it's the same color anyway. We'll just turn it down a little bit. So it doesn't matter what goes around these layers as long as you maintain the order of these layers. When you keyframe this, not opacity, when you keyframe this uh, slider at you, we're going to set this to toggle. Toggle hold keyframe. I don't know why I put five. One. So now you can go between them. I'm just hitting JK to go between keyframes. So there's another way to use this. Let's make a new composition. It'll be comp two. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a new controller. It's going to be our control. Uh, I'm actually going to go back over here and copy this box. Well, that's the first time I actually picked up my mouse and it scrolled and I wanted it to do what it did. Hmm. That's cool. Usually just zooms me the way the hell out. Uh, if you're listening to Adobe, please please put a switch to stop mouse scrolling in this window. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down here, and I'm going to set up an expression on rotation. I'm going to pick whip this. I'm just going to get control again. Control equals that layer. Then I'm going to set up that same uh, situation where we do index minus control dot index. So that's going to make it one for this layer. We're going to multiply that by say 30. If you want this to start exactly where it was originally, you can also do a minus one so that it goes back to zero. So that's set from zero instead of one. But now we can duplicate this. Uh, we're getting an, we're getting an error about the opacity that we had set before. Uh, let's go into here. Delete that. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna delete that and just delete these and start over. There we go. That's offset weirdly because of this, but as you can see, these are now offset based on their index. Let me get rid of one of these so you can actually still see it. If you put something above them, like a new layer, and you multiply, you can see that they haven't changed. No matter how many layers are on top, these are not gonna move. So often you'll want to set up something like this to where these are all rotated based on their index or whatever so that you can set up a radial array of some sort. So after adding new stuff, you don't want to go back and change all the expressions to be like, okay, well this is now layer three, so I gotta go back and subtract three out of each one. This way, it's just set with this group. Again, we're gonna color it yellow. It's its own group. You could also set this to where uh, this is its parent. So if you just did this, get rid of these real quick. Go over here. This would no longer be control. You don't need that at all anymore. This dot parent dot index. Oops, is that lowercase? It'd be this dot parent dot index. And there you go. Same thing. Deselect that real quick. Throw a new layer over top. Multiply. This hasn't changed. So that's another way to do it. So you can. So, I mean, it's, you're likely to have this already parented. So just do that. You don't have to make any more extra variables or anything. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I hope this technique helps you guys out. I've used this in the past, which is why I knew a quick answer for the guy who was asking it. And while I don't use it all the time, I find it pretty useful. So hopefully you will too. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. I am Joe from Workbench. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.